What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, aka DJ Phase, and I have missed all of you. I haven't been around on my channel very often in the past few weeks because I've been preparing to go to medical school this August, and so that's taken all of my time, but I'm back and I've got some great reviews lined up. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss all the great content that's coming. Now on the subject of med school, the product I'm going to review today is something that I believe is going to help me be a better student and better at studying and getting my work done. Now, if you're not a student, don't leave. This product can be helpful for gamers or people that just work on the computer a lot in general. It's priced at a point that doesn't prohibit it from the casual user, and I really think that you all are gonna like that. I'm talking about the Red Dragon Vara K551. This is a mechanical keyboard priced at $40 that I really think is going to make your computer usage much more enjoyable uh, and I'll tell you why in this review. Again, I'd love if you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, but without any further ado, let's dive in to the review. All right, so a little backstory on this review. Now, I'm not a gamer, and so mechanical keyboards are usually something associated uh, with the PC gaming community. If you're really hardcore into that, uh, there's a lot of benefits that come from using a mechanical keyboard. Now, I'm just a student, uh, but I use the computer a lot. I type essays, I use it for my business that I own, my DJ business, and so I feel like uh, having an enjoyable computer experience is something very important to me. So there may be an office chair review in the future or a stand-up desk review, we'll see. But the mechanical keyboard was something that I could pick up for a relatively cheap price, in this case $40 for this Red Dragon, uh, and get a feel for if I liked mechanical keyboards and if I wanted to continue down this route. Because I know there's whole communities out there of people that uh, collect or customize their mechanical keyboards. So this is the Red Dragon Vara K551. You can pick it up on Amazon. I did my research. There were a lot of options when you type in mechanical keyboard on Amazon, some costing hundreds, some costing nothing. This was the product like I do with most of my Amazon finds that I felt offered the most value, the greatest number of five-star reviews uh, for the lowest price, okay? And I chose the rainbow backlight option. So this keyboard behind all the keys uh, are rainbow colored lights uh, that change and fade and we'll talk about that and I'll show you a demo in just a second. So you have like a, a red option or a green option, I chose the rainbow. So why would one need a mechanical keyboard? A mechanical keyboard uh, has a few key differences from your typical uh, membrane keyboard, which is the standard option on, on most computers and laptops these days. A membrane keyboard uh, is much quieter when you use it. Okay, uh, it's much lighter and it's a little less durable. You know, people cite the advantages of the mechanical keyboards as more durable, usually better constructed, can withstand a, a larger number of keystrokes, you know, the actual number of times you press the keys, uh, and they also have a very satisfying feel and sound. So this is the box that the keyboard comes in. Uh, I've already unboxed it and used it, so there's not much to show here. The only thing that I wanted to show you that comes in the box, um, is a little user manual that tells you about the different color options available on the keyboard, the different color modes, and this key puller tool. So you can remove the keys from the keyboard if you do need to clean. Um, haven't got to that point yet, but it's nice to know that they included this little tool uh, in there as well. So let me grab the actual keyboard, which is right here, okay? Already, when you pick it up, you can tell this isn't your normal keyboard. A keyboard's maybe a pound or less. Uh, this thing is just under three pounds, and it's hefty. It's got um, metal parts in it and plastic. It's built of both, um, but it feels very sturdy and durable, okay? The same goes for the keys themselves, and here is the best part of this. I'll put it by my mic. You hear that sweet clicking noise, right? Uh, it sounds really awesome. Now that's one of the disadvantages of a keyboard. If you live with people or you're in a quiet environment, you probably don't want this for your cubicle at the office. It's very loud. You'll probably piss people off. I have an office to myself at home. Um, when I'm studying, this is gonna be great. I enjoy that sound. It's not gonna piss anyone off. Be, bear in mind though, that they are louder. I opted for the version with the numerical keypad. I type a lot of things with numbers, so that was important to me. They offer a shrunken down version without the uh, 10 key as well if you need something more compact that's a few dollars less. Um, on the back side, you do have some feet if you would like to angle the keyboard up. Um, and you have a rather long cable, USB cable to connect this to your computer. This is plug and play. When I put it in my laptop, it took maybe 10 seconds for the driver to download on my PC uh, and it was ready to go. I mentioned that these keys are a little more durable than your average keyboard, which is one of the benefits of a mechanical keyboard. Uh, these are rated for 50 million 
keystrokes as opposed to your standard keyboard, which is like 10 million. I don't know if I'd ever even hit 10 million, but it's nice to know that paying the premium uh, does give you more durability. One of the big selling points of this keyboard beyond the feel and the sound and the increased durability was the cool LED backlight options it has. So we're gonna head over to my computer desk. I'm gonna plug it in and show you some of the really awesome light programs that this keyboard does. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna run you through a few of the color keyboard um, backlight options available to you. So this is the RGB keyboard. You'll notice that you'll see the different colors, red, green, and blue on the different lines of the keyboard. So right now I've just got it on a steady on. Um, to change the functions, you're usually just gonna hit the FN key, the function key, and then usually insert, delete, home. There's a few different ways to access the different programs. So if I hit function and then insert, we go to this breathing one, which is kind of just a fade in and out. Then if I hit it again, We've got, uh, this one's called sneaking, which I believe just kind of fades in. And then when you click a key, um, it momentarily dims, okay? Which is really cool. So this one, like if I type fast, you can see them all fade out and then fade back on as I click them, okay? So those are the ones available through the insert key. If I hit function and then delete, We've got this kind of wave, which is the one that I usually keep it on. And there's 19 of these, so I'm just gonna kind of shuffle through them quickly. I'm gonna hit function and then delete again. We've got kind of a swirling pattern, which is really cool. Function delete again. This one is called springing, all right, which kind of goes from the inside out. And then one more, this is glittering. So this is just kind of fading in and out randomly across the whole keyboard. If I hit function and then home, we get this one, where you touch it and it ripples out from your keystroke. How cool does that look? It looks really neat when you're clicking individual keys, but if you type quickly, it kind of just goes into like freak out mode, right? But it is really neat to see. Okay, if I hit function and then let's see, home again. This one is just a single key memory. So as you click it, it stays lit up for a second, which is pretty neat. Uh, if I hit function and then home again, this one does just a single line when you click a key. So it kind of travels across the line, which is really neat looking. Again, if you're going quick, it's kind of just a mess, but when you do individual keys, it looks really awesome. And then function home again takes us back to one that just uh, highlights maybe the six or seven keys around the key that you press, which is kind of neat, okay? I personally don't like these ones as much, even though they're really cool to watch them react. Uh, I prefer to have my keyboard lit up constantly. so. Those are all the ones available through the home. If I do function page up, okay? This is one that just kind of runs by itself, okay? So typing doesn't affect it. It just kind of zigzags back and forth across the keyboard. If I hit page up again, this one is like a sine wave that travels across the keyboard. Function page up again. You get this uh, kind of, it says raining. So it looks like things just kind of slowly and softly light up randomly along the keyboard. And then one more time, this one is called uh, raising wave, right? So it's solid until you click it and then it turns off when you type. Kind of cool. Okay. Uh, and then function page down gets you this one, which is twinkling. Okay. Similar to the raining one function page down again, gets you wavelet kind of a slower rippling effect page down again, gets you swiftly flying. I love the names they give these and then page down one more time gives you uh, horse racing, which kind of goes across the keyboard left to right staggered, okay? Uh, the one I said that I usually keep on as function delete is this kind of uh, wave that just travels slowly across the keyboard. This one just allows me to see the keys, but still gives me a little bit of movement while I'm typing. If you're in a really well-lit room, you won't see much of this anyway, but it's nice to know you have those options. There also are some gaming um, light up key functions. Now, I don't game very much, but if you hit uh, FN plus one, you get your uh, WASD escape and then your uh, control pad, your arrows here, they light up. Um, FN plus two just lights up different keys depending on which game you're getting. And you can also create your own custom ones if you uh, play games that they don't have a layout for. So these are some of the ones where it just highlights keys that are important uh, to the game that you're playing, okay? Again, back to the waving because this is where I keep uh, mine. So that's just a few of the different color options available on this keyboard. Again, rehashing the pros and cons of a mechanical keyboard, uh, more sturdy, 
more durable, uh, heavier, heftier, and really satisfying click and feel and sound of the keyboard. Now, cons um, are some of the same things. It's heavier, it's harder to haul around. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to be like your travel keyboard unless you're really hardcore. I keep this in my office in the same place. Uh, it's very loud, don't use this in quiet environments if there's other people around that you're worried about uh, pissing off. Um, but all in all, 40 bucks, I think this is a significant upgrade over the stock keyboard that comes on a laptop or with most keyboards you can buy for 10 or $20. Uh, this is gonna feel better. It, it maybe will allow you to type better or faster, more accurately just because of the feel. Um, I really like it and I totally can recommend it. So that was a look at the Red Dragon Vara K551. Again, I think this keyboard offers a fantastic value for the money. For 40 bucks, you're gonna get a high quality metal hefty keyboard with mechanical switches that sound good, that look good, that feel good. In my opinion, it made using the computer more enjoyable. I like how it looks, I like how it feels, and honestly, it's a significant upgrade over my laptop's keyboard. If you liked this review, please like it down below, leave a comment on products you think I should review in the future, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.